Hey you lovely lot and welcome back to my YouTube channel Sezzy Vanna, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be a bit of a different one. Today we are going to be making a breastfeeding necklace. I am so excited to make this, I cannot wait to show you and hopefully I don't mess it up and it goes all okay. I hope you enjoyed today's video, make sure if you do to like, subscribe, hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any future content. Let's get making this necklace. <laughs> Hey lovelies, so the rest of the video is going to be of my hands. I wish I painted my nails or something there because my hands look disgusting, I'm sorry. So yeah, so we are going to be making a necklace today. I was kindly gifted this pack from Instagram of a company called Lacto. They specialise in making breastfeeding jewellery with your very own breast milk. They approached me on Instagram if I wanted to make a necklace and of course I jumped at the chance because I kept seeing these everywhere and they just looked absolutely gorgeous and I thought I need to make one. This is going to be my last baby. We are going really really well on our breastfeeding journey and I definitely want something to remember it by. So I went on to the website to have a look at what they had. They had loads of different pendants that you could choose from and I chose this heart one. You can tell this is the first time I've done a video like this. I don't know how where my hand should be or anything. So I am making this heart pendant. There you go. I will get the hang of this eventually. And hopefully I don't mess this up and it goes okay. So I have got everything I need out of the box. And I have got my handy instructions here. So it's called a breast milk jewel production kit. Step one, before initiating the process, keep the solutions A and B in a vertical position. And collect your breast milk in a clear container. So this one is A, which we have got here. And this one is B. And they are both upright and of course I have collected my breast milk which I'm sure Violet is not very happy about that I took. In case you're wondering about my layout today of this amazing background I am at my hubby's gaming bit. He is a streamer and I am I had to pick a surface and I thought this one looked really really cool so that is where we are today. Okay but to this so we have done that we've kept them upright it says to wash the silicone mold and let it dry naturally in a well ventilated place at most you can carefully dry it with a paper towel so you don't break the pin for the pendant link so this that i've just shown you is the mold i have washed it and i have let it dry step three put the gloves to put your hands and open the solution so here is my gloves we're going to put them on I feel like I'm dyeing my hair right now. These are the clubs that I would use to dye my hair. So I have got my gloves on. I love trendy gloves. Okay, put the gloves on. So step four, squeeze the pipette bowl with your thumb and index finger. Pressing the bowl pipette, dip it into the breast milk container. Once the pipette is submerged, release the pipette so that the milk enters the pipette. Ah, uh, reminder, the pipette won't be completely full. It is normal. I can't believe how many times I have just said the word pipette. So, let's get my breast milk. And we are going to get the pipette and put it in. That was, you know, I don't know if you can see, that's quite a lot in there. It's alright. Okay, so we've done that. So we're going on to step five. Put the breast milk sample collected with the pipette inside the solution A. Use only what's inside the pipette, even if you're making more than one pendant. Okay, so we'll put the pipette. I so swear I'm going to use this word all day, pipette, down. So that's A. We'll open it. And put the breast milk sample collected with the pipette inside the solution A. Use only what's inside. Okay. So you're going to put it in. Maybe. No, we're not, because it's got something else. There we go. 
I wonder what this solution is. It's quite sticky, whatever it is. So we're going to put it in. That's all of it. That is the last of the pipette. Place all of the solution B inside the solution A containing your breast milk sample. Using the spatula, stir it carefully to avoid air bubbles until smooth. So we've got to put B in A. So that is our B sample. We will. Oh, it's got another lid on it as well. I think, yeah. That doesn't want to come off. I was really worried about making this video. Like, this is like a one-off thing. Like, if I mess it up, that's it. I don't have any more solution to mix up. So I have to hope this is going to go well first time. It doesn't want to come out. Might have to fast forward this bit for you, lovely. Oh, this is like firmly in. Guys, it's not going well. It doesn't want to come out. Oh, see? See, I did it. It's off. Go me. Alright, so we put A and B. And then we get our spatula. This one. And we're going to stir it until smooth to avoid air bubbles. I feel like there's not a lot of milk in this. I hope it comes out right. Okay, so until smooth, and then step seven, slowly put all the liquid on the silicone mould, taking care so you don't close the hole for the pendant link and don't make air bubbles on your jaw. I feel like this is really like delicate work and I'm going to mess it up. I'm so scared. I'm so excited though how I'm excited and nervous of how this is going to turn out. I think that it is okay. So that is what it looks like. Doesn't look too hot, does it? So I have stirred it and there is no air bubbles inside. Okay, what did I say before? So you get your mold and pull it in the mold. Okay, I think this is stirred. We're going to put our spatula, actually we'll put it back here for now. Okay, and then we get our mould. Let's move all this out of the way. And we are going to pull it in the mould. See, another thing with these gloves, especially when I'm dyeing my hair as well, they just like don't stay on my hands very well. Okay, we're going to pull it in the mould. I'm so scared guys, I don't want to mess it up. I think that's enough. There's actually quite a lot of liquid left over, I wish I had more than one mould now. But it is full, and it says not to 
close the hole for the pendant so I have put just enough in so you can see the hole at the top and what's the next step so step eight Remove the pendant from the mould for your jewel to be beautiful. Sand it on the back of the pendant. Use the pendant link to finish your process, pressing it with your hands, fingers, sorry, and it's ready. So I'm going to let this mould set and I'll be back. Hopefully, nothing is messed up and it's all good. Fingers crossed, guys, that it goes well. Hey, lovelies. So on the instructions, it says you have to wait at least 48 hours before taking the pendant out of the, the mould. I thought, no, it's not going to take 48 hours, let me just leave it a couple of hours. And turns out it did need a little bit longer than a couple of hours. So I, the rest of this video is being filmed like two days after. I've been checking it every single day and it is finally ready. I have taken it out of the mould. So that is the mould there. And here is the pendant. Last thing I have to do now, so it's told me to sand it down at the back with the file, which I have done. And it's really nice and smooth, really, really lovely. I'm just going to quickly put the link on it now. And then I will show you the end result, but it is lovely. Hey lovelies, so it has actually been two days now since I filmed the beginning part of my video. On the instructions, it says to wait 48 hours before removing the pendant from the mould. Um, I didn't think it was going to take 48 hours, I thought it may be an hour, two hours tops. So I kept checking it and it was still very liquidy, it wasn't setting and yeah, so maybe the instructions were right and it was going to take 48 hours. So it has taken 48 hours. This is the mould that it was in. I have taken it out and I have put the the link on. Before putting the link on, I had to sand it down with the file. But here it is, all done, looking pretty. I'm actually quite chuffed how it's turned out. I was very, very nervous how it was going to come out because I'm not very good at making things. I thought I was going to totally screw it up. But it doesn't actually look too bad. I've put the link on. I've just left it down for a little bit, just make sure the link is firmly on. But it does look really, really good. And I've literally just been looking at instructions now in case I've missed anything. And it has this cute little thing on the back. It says, breast milk jewelry is a living piece. Once it's made of organic matter, just like the baby grows and the mother matures, the breast milk jewelry also grows through transformations. At the beginning, they are very white. And as the time goes, they get more pearly tone. We consider it the charm of the piece, which I think is really, really lovely. I mean, the fact that it's gonna change color and grow and just never get old and something that's gonna last forever. I mean, mine and Violet's journey with this breastfeeding has gone really, really well. Best out of all of them so far. Usually by now I'd have to stop because it's just, it's not going well or it's just getting very stressful. So the fact that we've been able to do it still and we're still going strong and we now have something to remember it by is just absolutely beautiful. And it's something that I'm going to treasure for ages. If you are a breastfeeding mummy watching my video today, I do have a discount code. It is Sezi Bella, and that will get you 15% off the entire website. I would definitely go and check it out. They have some amazing pieces on there. You get a pack, and the pack contains whatever mould you would like to make your breast milk with um, pendant with so they've got hearts they've got different shapes of hearts as well they've got a baby's foot um mother and baby uh, together cuddling they have got some lovely lovely charms on there i have done a heart but i do think i might do another one just because i really do like it and i'm quite chuffed how it turned out i might think if i do it again it's going to come out perfect next time so yeah i would definitely go and check it out they have loads of different color um links as well i did go with silver this time i was very very tempted to go for a goldy color and they had rosy gold as well but i did go for silver and i do think it has worked really really well i'm just quite chuffed how it's turned out my camera is not giving it you know the justification that it needs it's so so good 
but yeah that is going to be the end of my video today i hope you did enjoy it and um if you are a breastfeeding mom like i said i hope you do go and check it out it's such a lovely thing just to remember lovely little keepsake to remember your breastfeeding journey i hope you enjoyed my video today lovelies it was a bit different i just dropped it off it was a bit different than normal but I hope you did enjoy it. If you do, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel as it really does support my channel. And I will see you in my next video, lovelies. Bye, guys.